And this season, you've been really sarcastic, and I know that has something to do with some of the writers, but is there anything that you've ad-libbed this season? Because some of the lines you say are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I ad-libbed um, Tim wanting his method of death to be uh, Sigourney Weaver choking out my thigh. Uh, I outlined, uh, uh, what was the character? Uh, Ficus. Albert Ficus is getting tortured by Wynn and, his, and uh, Mikey in the room. After they leave, we come in, and I put my fist down, and I say, pound it, took that shit like a man. That was mine. <laughs> uh, and then there was a line about Mordor a couple of episodes ago. So those are my hits. Those are well, my big hits this season. I've absolutely loved all six seasons, and I'm so glad your character got a little bit more involved this season. And since Black Donnelly. You know? <laughs> yeah. Now, your character came in like a bat out of hell this season. And I have to tell you, if you don't get an Emmy nomination, I, I'm, I mean, your character is like... I've been a fan of Justin a lot. Yeah. For a long time. So the opportunity to end up coming on to a show like this, something that I care for already, um, that has the sort of craftsmanship of stories I'm like, like this show does, uh, it's a privilege, you know? It's a, yeah. real, it's a real privilege show. If you want to make a mark, if you want to really do something with the character, at the same point, you don't want to screw up any of uh, So this, um, this was a risky uh, character to put down, and uh, I think I was entirely supported by the writers and the, the cast that threw on this show. We're very lucky. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. I mean, every week, I'm just like, I don't know whether I can love you or hate you yeah, because your character's... So creepy, especially the way he pines after Loretta. Sure. But then, of course, the cockiness he has when he's trying to approach Raylan. You know, there was one line you said, you know, check my balls. They're purple, they're so blue. I was like, oh, my God. You know, if, if, as an audience member, because I know I've heard those lines on this show before, and I've been, those are great. When you get to read it, that line in the script and you get to say it, it's, uh, it's, it's other world, you know, yeah. as an actor. It's just so exciting. Well, like I said, if you don't get an Emmy nomination well, as a guest star in role, because you're absolutely this fantastic. Be, uh, last half of the season yeah. uh, for, the final, for the final episodes of Justified yeah. is uh, a gift in and of itself. I really appreciate it. It's so nice to you, sir. Yeah, and then, like, we've seen the previews. You and Raylan have a standoff, so I'm so excited to see what happens. Yeah, well, you can buy the tags for any animal you want out there in the safari. Whether or not you hunt them and get them is a different situation. In the corner path, you might get gotten by it. So, <laughs> tune in and watch the final episode. Thank you so much. It's so such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Sister, I love it. Thank you. Loretta McCready. She is a really feisty one this yes. season, but you have met your match with Boone. Yeah. And I got to meet Jonathan Tucker. Yeah. He's been fantastic this season. Oh my God. Playing the creepiest guy. So creepy. Yeah. He creeps me out. He just hides in your car. I know, right? Isn't oh. that so weird? So how much fun has it been to play Loretta? Oh my God. Since season two and then coming yeah. back a couple seasons here and there and then now finally in the final season? It's been the best thing ever and this is like, the, I'm going to miss this character the most. Yeah. Out of everything I've ever done um, as of yet, I think that this character has been such a great opportunity for me as an actress because I've been able to transform myself and become someone totally Definitely. different and also just playing this tough character who's so strong and she's a really, really strong woman and I feel like that's, that's what I'm going to miss. Well, she's had to grow up so fast. Her father passed away, and then, of course, when Mags kind of took you under her wing, and then, of course, her unfortunate demise, you know, you really had to grow up quickly. So I, I love the progression of your character over the years and how much you've grown as an actress. And seeing you this season has been absolutely wonderful. thank you so much. And you gave... I would 
love to find out what you would like to say to your fans for this show since we're coming into the season uh, series finale. What would you like to tell your fans? I, I, would, uh, I would say thank you for watching. It's very appreciated. It's a huge show. Tons of fans. What was your favorite part about playing Raylan? Oh, I don't know. It was pretty fun. It was always pretty well written. It made the job easy. That's always good. And you also executive produced. Did you have... Uh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I heard um, Nick Cersei say uh, that you were very involved in the process as well. And Mel Fair also said how integrated you were when you were not t you know, doing your takes. You were yeah. always back behind the scenes. Someone made me the star of a TV show. I figured I'd take advantage of it. <laughs> Well, I've been a huge fan, and I, I can't wait till the see you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.